Hi guys, thanks for joining us again. Hello. So today we're going on a very, very important point on how to succeed when dieting or losing body fat. So many people are asking us all the time, oh it doesn't work, how do I do it, what am I doing wrong? So we're going to break it down real simple for you, tell you the things to avoid and the things to do. Okay, so I'm now going to do my best to simplify a pretty simple subject which everyone likes to stick their oar in and make it really confusing. <laughs> Basically that's what happens. Yes. Weight loss or fat loss, weight loss isn't really the best term, fat loss is not a linear process. It doesn't matter if you're dieting for a contest or whether you're just generally losing weight because you're overweight at the moment, okay? It's, you're going to have fits and starts. You're going to have points where you lose four pounds, you lose nothing, you put a pound on, you lose. You might stay somewhere for a little while. That just means that you need to mix up your variables. And that doesn't mean I'm going to hammer my calories down even more, <laughs> all right? This is where a lot of people go wrong. They start off going, oh, I need to lose weight. I'm going to drastically drop my calories. I'm going to go on the Cambridge diet and have 500 calories a day and then do a little of exercise. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because it slows or downregulates all your hormones, your metabolism slows down, and you can't you can't operate a decent life for that. Eventually, when you will, and you will do it, you'll want to start eating like a normal human being again, your body won't be, won't be ready for it. It'll all still be down regulated down here when you're eating 500 calories a day. When you start eating 2,000, it's going to be like, oh, I can't keep up with this, and you're going to put it back on again. A Greek friend of mine actually told me the real meaning of the word diet. It means way of life, and that's exactly what it has to be. Make little changes. Go, right, I don't eat much veg. I'm going to start sticking some nice green veg and, and good fruits into my diet. It might be, I'm not going to have that can of Coke. I'm going to do 30 minutes of exercise a day. And yeah, you might lose two pounds a week. You might lose more than that, but it's gonna be much more sustainable. So when you hit a plateau or a point like that, you can just go, do you know what? I'm already eating 2,000, 3,000 calories, whatever meeting. I've got plenty to pay with there. I can take a little bit off it. Rather than being, oh, I've got 500 calories. If I take any more calories away, I am gonna disintegrate. <laughs> so that's just a quick overview on some really important points in terms of fat loss and dieting. Leon's gonna take you through a little bit of training. So basic scenario, when you start training, you come down the gym and you go, I'm gonna come to the gym every single day. Start at base, which means it's gonna be maintainable for you. Start with two days a week or even one day a week. Get your eating right, gradually pick your training up. That's the most important thing. Don't go, I really wanna train, I really wanna lose all the weight. If I do it six times a week, and cut all my calories, that means I'm gonna get there. No, you're gonna be walking around like that, going, oh, I can't even move without even being in pain. Just doesn't work, it's not sustainable. So that is exactly why at the start of the year, everyone always joins the gym and within two or three months, they're completely burnt out and they stop going. It's not because the gym's absolutely horrible and no one achieves any of their goals. It's just because they're not supplementing their training and they're not necessarily doing it correctly. So remember, start with a good little habit, one or two times a week, even if it's only 30 or 40 minutes and gradually build it up. Right, so my second and final point is all about weights. So there's still a massive misconception that as soon as we look at a dumbbell or a barbell, we're all gonna get absolutely massive. And that's purely just because there's a lot of big guys lifting weights. So you're not the only person in thinking that, you're not wrong for thinking that. But the most important thing or bit of advice we could give you in training is lift some weights up. Because we always hear that thing, muscle weighs more than fat, no one really gets that. If you were to Google one pound of muscle to one pound of fat, that one picture that you would find straight away would really simplify that and put it all, all to bed straight away. So remember, when we're getting lean muscle, you may turn around and get on the scales and go, oh, I'm, uh, I'm a couple of pounds heavier, but I'm a dress size smaller. You know, that's fantastic. You know, don't always associate weight with how you're doing. Remember it's about how the clothes fit, how your body feels. Optimal body composition is not about weight, it's about how everything fits. If you can look in the mirror and go, you know what, I'm looking pretty strong but you're half a stone heavier, but you're looking lean. What would you prefer? So just remember, get in there, lift some weights, put the body under some tension, and you will get there a hell of a lot quicker than just mindlessly slugging it out on a treadmill or a cross trainer, and eating 200 calories a day, and slowly turning yourself into a lollipop stick with no metabolism whatsoever. Lollipop stick. So take your time, we'll be along the journey with you and you will get there, we assure you of that. So stay with us, we'll be back this time next week with another super awesome video well. to help you get where you want to be. So we love you all and we will see you soon. See you later guys. Tell you what, the hardest thing is that it takes time. You can't do everything overnight, none of us could because if we did, we'd all just look absolutely amazing in like one second. But it takes a lot of time. <laughs> Press up, so hands directly under the shoulders, abs braced, and going that back down behind. 